in Good Health, brought to you by McLaren Northern Michigan. Do you realize that there's 26,000 neck injuries a year from diving into the water? I'm Dr. Joe Weistroffer, an orthopedic spine surgeon at McLaren Northern Michigan. Now, the majority of these are occurring, you know, at, at poles and lakes and rivers. 800 of these injuries, out of these 26,000s, end up in paralysis. And the majority of the people that sustain this injury are teenagers and young men. And it's a devastating injury because it leads to paralysis. The majority of these, three-fifths of these injuries, occur when diving into shallow water, water less than four feet deep. Know how deep the water is before you jump into it. If the water is not clear and you can't see the bottom, you don't know what's underneath there, so don't jump at it. Even if you've jumped there before, there may be new sand shoals, there may be new boulders or impediments like logs or stuff that might hurt yourself. Never dive into an above ground pole because most above ground poles are very close to four feet deep, so you never do that. Any type of diving that's a trick dive or some like weird dive that you wanna really show someone, that's where almost 20% of these injuries come from. Another good rule of thumb is to never dive into water that is at least as twice as deep as the height you're diving from. So that means if you're diving, let's say, off of an eight foot roof, you wanna make sure that the water is at least twice that depth or 16 feet. Now, when you think of a diving board, diving boards only account for less than 10% of the injuries. Why is that? Because most people, when they put a diving board up, there's an appropriate amount at least twice the depth beneath it. And it's usually in an area where the pool's upkept and there's not any other things hidden underneath the water that goes with it. But even when you're on a diving board, there's some important rules to follow. One is there's only one person on the diving board at any one time. And just like any lifeguard will say, no running. So don't run on the diving board one at a time. And you want to dive off the end, not off the sides, but off the end. And when you do, limit it to just one bounce. And of course, once you get in the water, get away from that landing area as soon as you can. But with all these things that go with swimming, diving, or really any water sport to include like windsurfing and uh, jet skis, alcohol will affect your coordination, it'll affect your balance, and it'll affect your judgment. And all those things, either drinking beforehand or during doing those things, can really lead to consequences that you may never be able to forget. For more information or to schedule an appointment, go to mclaren.org northern or call 800-248-6777.